morning everybody welcome back okay so we're gonna make breakfast this morning um i've already got my biscuits going they're fixing to come out of the oven you give them just another minute so this morning i'm making tomato okay. gravy and biscuits with bacon you just now got some people coming in Did Devin want some bacon? Did you already have her? I'm going to do the bacon in the air fryer as usual. Yes, she does. Hey. Oh. Everybody say good morning, back. Good morning, y'all. Hey. Okay. bring y'all over and we're going to pull these biscuits out. Where do those round things above your stove? It's a spy track. Here are our biscuits. Perfect. We're going to put some butter on them. I like the way they look white, but then they turn brown. Maria said air frying bacon piss and she started watching you, that's why she does it. It works so well. <laughs> Janice would love to make a gravy. Alright. Let's get some butter on these babies and bring that color out. Flying a while ago. Did we? Yeah. Oh, step, step, morning, Miss Energized Jet Gal. Hey, good morning. I can't see hardly anything. I'm sorry. I. She's not a camera person. It's hard for me to set the camera up and be in front of it and know what I'm doing. Shut that door, baby. Brown 
all your problems are still in bed. <laughs> You know, some parts of our, our followers of April, uh, 6.30. Okay, so we got our bacon in the air fryer. We got our biscuits done. Let's make some tomato gravy. Uh, oh. <laughs> Stop. tomatoes up because you always got some that have the peel still stuck on them. I don't want that in my gravy. Dawn said, happy Saturday, bacon. Hey, Dawn, happy Saturday to you. Um, I don't want like uh, that top piece where the stem was. That's kind of tough. I don't want that in my gravy. <laughs> Susan said, hey kids, what's up? Hey Susan. Jill's never had tomato gravy. Girl, you don't know what you're missing. I don't want any tough pieces of tomato. So that's why I do this. Stephanie said, suggest what other foods might go good with tomato gravy. Um, a lot of people like it with pork chops. We like it with bacon. I like it in the mornings with biscuits and bacon. My mom used to do tomato gravy, biscuits, pork chops, and then little, she cut her potatoes up in little squares cook them. Yeah, we used to have it at night with, uh, growing up. Mama would make it at night with dinner as well. You know, we'd have it for breakfast a lot. But she'd also do it with dinner. And we'd have like pork chops, fried taggers, biscuits, tomato gravy, um, Anything you're serving biscuits with, really, I think to make crepe you can just get with. Okay, there's another piece of filling. Why the lady said they've never had it? Okay. Got our tomatoes ready. Susan said they ate it on rice. Yeah, I've heard people eating it on rice. I don't know if tomato gravy is a southern thing or just, or what. Okay. I got to clean my table off. Y'all know I can't stand up on my table. Come on, y'all. Let's roll over here. Got my eye heating up. I'm going to be using some of my leftover flour from my biscuits. That being the case, I need a uh, sifter. Miss Lucy, say good morning. Good morning, Miss Lucy. 
need us out here in the air fryer. You know those bacon cooking up. You hear that air fryer? There's bacon cooking. Y'all like my shirt? I don't. said, not today, heifer. We got a little bit of tomato on it. <laughs> I didn't put an apron on. I love it when you get up and get dressed and then mess your clothes up first thing in the morning, but it's all right. Oh, Serena said you're making her hungry, but she's at work. Oh. I'll eat one for you, girl. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of vegetable oil. You can use bacon grease. And I'm just going to use a little vegetable oil. Y'all, these little things from the Dollar Tree work good to put a little bit of like vegetable oil or olive oil or something to put on top of your steak. I was wondering where you got that. What happened to your little squirty liquor bottles? Oh, there it is. I, I still have the squirty one. The other ones, I loved them in the beginning, but they, the pumps start <coughs> wearing now then. Okay, let me get my, my oil all around that pan good. And because I made biscuits with this flour, I don't want no clumps in my gravy. You need to flip this stuff? I think it's okay for now. Well, it's curled over on itself and it's going to be raw in that area. Okay, well, let me... uh. He wants me to flip the bacon, y'all. I gotta push this off the eye a minute. Now it curls over itself and then that part's raw? Yeah. We don't want no raw bacon. Let me flip my bacon over once. Okay, let's Silver round things is her spice rack. See spices. It's uh, magnetic. Those are the magnetic spice things. They just come out Back there. to the air fryer. Let's get us a spoon rest. And back to this uh, gravy. I'm just going to use two heaping tablespoons of flour in this oil. But like I said, I want to knock out all the, um, yeah, let me see what I'm doing. I want to knock out all the lumps from making my biscuits. If I had just dropped this down in there, I'd have had some lumpy gravy. Uh, Don said, how's the whole turkey cooking an electric oven compared to a gas oven? The same? Uh, yeah, it cooks about the same. Exactly. Okay. We got our flour going. We're going to brown it up a little so we cook the rawness out of the flour. Turn this eye down some. I'm going to start adding my milk. I want enough milk to cover the pan in the beginning so we can pull all that flour up off of the pan. And as it starts to thicken up, I'm going to add more milk. It takes a lot of milk to make gravy. Okay. God said you're doing it just like her mama did. Yeah, 
so you may have to go ahead and come back in because my end is great. Can you check that bacon for me? Okay, it's doing the thing. Okay, just stirring it around. When it starts to thicken again this time, I'm going to put my tomatoes in it. And I'm not scratching hard with this metal whisk, just so y'all know. It's just rubbing over it. All right, we're thickening back up. Now we're going to add our tomatoes. That's where the magic happens. And yes, if anybody asks, you can use fresh tomatoes, but um, if you do, I suggest that you blanch them and get that peeling off. Because I, the peeling to me is not good in tomato gravy. Like the diced tomatoes, um, sometimes they still have peelings on them. I don't like using diced tomatoes. Uh -huh. I like to use the whole tomatoes and bust them up. What kind of tomatoes? Puree? No. Whole tomatoes, clean them and bust them up. Um, I've already threw the can away. Yeah, you crushed them, didn't you? I crush them. I pull that top out of them and I crush them, make sure there's no really tough pieces of tomato. And that's what I use. How was that bacon doing? It was doing good. Uh, look at it. It's going to be good on it. Yeah, let it keep going. Whole tomatoes. And just press them up. Yeah, and just pull that top piece out of them. You gotta get your hands in them. Get your can of whole tomatoes, dump them in a bowl. Uh, look through them, make sure there's no pieces of peeling left on them. Pull that top piece out of them and then just crush them. And look at that. It's gonna be so good. That is perfect. It'll thicken up a little bit, won't it? it? Yeah, it'll, I don't want it to thicken up too much because I like it to be able to soak into my biscuit. Um, it does thicken as it cools like any other gravy, but I don't want mine really thick. Jerry, you said, what are you putting it on? I'm putting it on a biscuit. Homemade biscuit. Yeah. Okay. We're taking that off the heat now because that's good. Can biscuits will be all right. You need it on a can biscuit. It's not as good on a can biscuit, but it's all right. Check that now. Okay. We're going to pull our bacon out. Oh, Melinda says she's trying it right now. Any seasoning, salt and pepper after it's done. Salt and pepper uh, when it's done. I mean, you can do it while it's cooking. I don't because uh, I'm a saltaholic. My family is not. She put way too much salt in it. So if I, if I, sometimes I'll add just a, a, a sprinkle of salt to stuff when I'm cooking. If I'm doing like noodles, I'll add salt. Because you want to get that in there while they're cooking. But for the most part, I do not do the salt part to our food. Because other people don't like as much salt as I do. No, it does not taste like pepper gravy at all. Totally different. Okay, I'm throwing more bacon in because 
I know my son's going to want to eat too. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going. So far as me, you, Devin, and probably Mike. Sandra says she uses petite diced tomatoes. Yeah, Alan's mom uses diced tomatoes too. She don't like to get her hands up on it. Um, I like to use all tomatoes. It's, I guess it's a, you know really just what what you prefer. But I bought some diced tomatoes uh, once, and they still had the fillings on them. And from there, I said no. Okay. Good. I'm going to bring y'all over here. We're going to be happy campers in about 10 minutes. And I'm going to let the hubby come make his plate. Plate some of this up so y'all can see it. Uh, no charity. Tomato gravy. If you put sausage in it, leave the tomatoes out and just have sausage gravy. Yeah, no sausage and tomato gravy. Yeah, I don't think it would be good at all. If you're going to have sausage gravy, have that. But... If you can have tomato gravy, leave that sausage in the freezer. You want to get you a plate and get here and... Let me get a, a spoon that you're here. You can use the ladle. It's not really a deep pan, but you can use the ladle. I just washed some of those dishes. And yeah. guys, if you missed it last night, we did a live where we did this. Let me show you guys. We did this apple cake last night on live. It is so good. If you missed that live, go watch it. Easy to make and it's delicious. Biscuit will make you want another, so I'll go ahead and do two at once. Oh, yeah. I'm trying not to get the chunks of tomato because I don't really like tomatoes. I don't like the way they feel. Okay. A little pepper. That baby is going to eat the half a biscuit. Or a lot of pepper. Here, baby, here's you some bacon and a biscuit. A little bit of salt. Not a whole lot. <laughs> Let me pull them back so they can see you. There we go. <laughs> you know, you're happy when you get some made of gravy, biscuits, and bacon. Yeah, and, take a bite. And I got a big old glass of sweet tea. Mm. Y'all yeah, look at his glass of sweet tea. Ain't this cup pretty? <laughs> Ain't my cup cute? Really make your body for her, but it was too big for her. And I said, ooh, that's the perfect size for me. I don't care if it's got cows on it with flowers. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not drinking the cow. Mm. 
Would it taste good on pasta? Uh, probably so. I don't know. Probably so. That's just one of those things I would say try it. <laughs> Grandson loves biscuits and tomato gravy. So does the hubby. Okay, we're mukbanging. That means we're eating on live. <laughs> I don't mind eating in front of y'all. I mean, if you was here, I'd be eating in front of you, so. Okay, guys, I'm going to hop off. We would just we don't do tomato gravy that often, so um, I think I've only done it once before on, on live. So I wanted to do the tomato gravy for you guys because it is really easy to make. Um, Very easy. It's, it's good on them biscuits with some bacon. A lot of people like it with strickling meat. Oh yeah, that is what it's good with. A lot of people like it with strickling. Um, we do bacon because strickling is is really salty. So, but anyways, we're gonna hop off and have our breakfast. Thank you guys for hanging out with us, and y'all have an awesome day. Two thumbs up on this baby. <laughs> Bye, y'all.